been a while. I thought I would come on and pull a few cards. I'll wait a few minutes, see if anyone else comes on. I'm at the dentist office waiting on my son. Thank you. Okay, we have one fall out. Um, somebody dealing with some um, heartache, heartbreak. Let's see. Got to do with the past. Um, very painful it feels like whatever this is okay something from a long time back where someone did not nurture it feels like a relationship and it just went um, I feel like someone's seen someone or someone came back into someone's life um, e Even if it's just for a split second of seeing them um, Or this is about to take place um, I know um, It makes me it's making me think of um, a stone that I just got actually my son he, he came across it and got it for me um, and everyone says it's malachite um, and you know if you if you look at malachite that's about um, ha can have to do with helping you to um, well basically help with like overcoming um, crap you know feelings and things that might hold you back from moving forward as easily Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay. Um, it feels like someone's got a chance for something new. Um, for someone, for well, for some, this may have to do with a job. And it will call for someone to step out of their comfort zone. Now, for some of you, this is an opportunity. Um, could be a job it could be something totally different it could be like going away or going on a vacation or taking a chance um, the feeling is good with the card um, it's not got a bad feeling about it um, I'm not getting a warning with you know the little dog or anything it's a feeling like um, it's it's really time for someone to step out of their comfort zone um, at this time I feel like whoever that's for they've been pondering on this so I don't know if this is about going on vacation or it could have to do with um, furthering a relationship with someone or even with someone that it could be family that something went wrong okay you just accepted a new job Okay, well, it's got a good feel to it. Um, it does feel like, though, there's going to be stepping out of the comfort zone a bit. Yes, it has. It has been a while since I've been able to do the live. Um, you know, it, whenever my daughter does the um, her dance classes, now it gets dark. So, <laughs> um, unless I do it with the light, but yeah I don't get any warning with that um, so you know it does feel like though there's going to be something that may feel uncomfortable okay
Okay, you do not like yours? Okay, um, well, have you put in any, any, like, trying to get a job somewhere else? Because it's funny how this comes out afterwards. It's almost a feeling like um, this is here for change. Something about change. But with this being um, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, that's about having more or going towards more, um, it feels like. So this could be for you that you're going to be going towards something better. Um, then again, also, um, EA, this could be for you that things are going to be, you know, lifting up and getting better. Um, if things have been, been down in the, it feels like money. It feels like that has to do with money. That's what I'm getting. On the bottom, though, that we do have the wish card. Okay. Well, be, be open and um, keep your energy really good and keep your vibe feeling like you're going to have what you want. Keep that about you. And um, keep your feel that you are accepting. Because I, it feels like there's something. See, I'm even getting. I'm getting the tingles. It's like there's something right on the edge of. You know. Yeah. Let's see. Sometimes that's all we can do is move forward. See, after endings. You know, since you said that and I cut straight to it. <coughs> I feel like this is about transformation. You know, after endings, it's like um, sometimes putting everything where it goes and transforming so that you can move forward in a um, positive, a positive way. And I missed, I missed what was said just now, but it's getting warm in here. <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, this, you know, with this coming out, it does feel like with endings, we've, ha we've, it's transformation time. So, okay. Well. I'm getting with this is transformation. It's, it's time to think about you. Sometimes thinking about the person or whoever done whatever is just going to just keep bringing more of, you know. See, karma, karma, with judgment being on the bottom, you don't need to worry about, um, hmm. You know, it, it's, okay, I can say that all day, but people's going to think about what someone done to them. Here's the thing, though. Karma don't lose an address. Um, and, you know, you can sit there and you can look all day waiting to see and nothing happen. But when you move on and you do your thing and you've got you, you see what I'm saying? Karma don't, it, it, it's, things come back around regardless. It may be in a different, a different, um, light or such. Okay. Okay, someone, um, I don't know if this is for one of you or someone's going to be watching this later. It's possible. Um, there's a truth that's about to come out. This is something, something that's going to, it's, it's around, it feels like abundance or stability or money. Um, and it's something that you, you may have not have known and it, it's almost like it, um, it sheds a big light on something to do with, with money or finances or, um, stability. It's, it's, it's enlightening, but it's profound. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what you need to do. That's what I feel like you need to do is be so optimistic that you, you are vibing so high that what comes to you is awesome, is, is fulfilling to you. I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to get ready for some news. That's it's, it's got something to do with either their finances or their money. Um, and I'm going to be honest, it, you know, I said profound way, but it doesn't feel like it has to be in a bad way. It doesn't at all. It's almost like some something changes um, that, oh, see, I'm getting windfall. It's almost like... Um, Something changes about someone's finances that really makes a difference in their life in a good way, not a bad way. So it very well could be a job coming your way that, you know, that's a possibility. I also feel like someone later on is going to watch this and yeah. Yeah, good vibes. That's exactly, that's exactly what I was getting. Just keep yourself, um... And sometimes that's hard to do, as it is. I, I, I can't, I'm, you know, I'm an Aquarius, so I'm guilty of that myself. And, you know, all we can do is um, feel it, you know, because I feel like that sometimes you have to feel whatever it is. And um, follow your intuition about things. Awesome. But follow your intuition. Um, I feel like that um, someone's going to be watching this. I don't know if it's y'all or not. Um, there's something to do with... Um, I'm getting marriage. Something to do with marriage. And you're really going to be... Um, this is a point of really following your intuition. I don't know who this is for. Um, oh my goodness. It's about things changing. Um, someone could end up actually, I don't, pregnant. So I don't know. This could be someone you know. Whatever this is, um, it's going to call for someone to have a lot of strength because it, it's like it. It really changes things. So, I would be aware of if you are childbearing age to, you know, if you don't want, because that empress is the shining out to me. Um, and then I feel like that someone that wants a child that has had a hard time um, conceiving and has been really manifesting what they want, they've been praying about it, they have really been... Um, you know, seeking help. Um, this is, yeah. And whoever this is, they they really, you know, this has been going on for a little bit of time. Or it, it could be upwards of uh, four, four months, four weeks, four years. I'm just saying. Um, because I haven't seen the number four. Um, they could be getting fertile. Or fertility help in some way um, there could be something that comes about for someone um, because I see I'm seeing okay someone could have okay they could have the option of um, someone carrying a child for them and it's something that they have to have the strength to, to actually make a choice yep see make a choice on it's like it leaves them at a crossroads because it's hard for them whatever it is it, it's a point of wanting to do it so badly themselves um but i feel like that whoever that's for their the love will you know it's everything will work out fine and um yeah it's that, that's got a beautiful feel to it it really does I only brought one deck of cards, so I need to shuffle these right quick. Um, and then I'll pull a few more because I feel like some of this is for someone who's going to see it later. 
my hair is burning me up. I should have put it up. I'm trying to, I'm letting it grow out. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we, the Queen of Swords just fell out. Um, someone, if you're being tested, if someone's testing you, I feel like that, um, oh my goodness, I feel like someone's being tested. Is, oh my goodness, I couldn't see it. It slipped before I could see it. Thank you. God bless you. Um, this is a feeling like if someone has been so given, you know, just all about for everyone else. Um, that's going to be tested. You're going to be tested. And it is really time to take a look at what serves you and what doesn't, you know. And I'm not saying uh, cut out relationships at all. But I'm saying that, you know, the Queen of Swords doesn't allow anyone to just, I feel like someone's taking advantage of someone. Um, and it, it may not be, you know, that they're, they may not even know they're actually doing it for someone. Um, that's what it feels like. So, I don't, I don't know. But um, I feel like it's time to really stand your ground. Don't let anyone walk over you, you know. Uh, make that de decision that, you know, what you, you matter too. Because I feel like someone's getting taken advantage of. And if this is in a job also, because I know we've had a lot of job stuff showing up. If it's in a job, you know, I mean... You shouldn't have to put up with us so much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're doing your job and you're doing what you need to do. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to do some more readings. Um, I started feeling all the other signs again. There for a while that had stopped. <laughs> And I was just feeling Aquarius mainly. But um, I've been feeling the other signs as well. And the, um, doing the long ones, which I don't do, the, I wasn't doing them as much, but um, I've been feeling them lately. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm getting two things on the card. Okay. Yeah. Well, this card right here, I'm getting that someone is going to be moving away from something. That could very well be you. Um, with the hangman being on the bottom, I feel like that planning ahead and being ready for whatever because it's almost like um, how the light bulb just clicks on quickly something quickly so there's a possibility you could get called somewhere else quickly and um, there's a need to you know be ready um, now for someone else I'm just getting two things with this card for someone else um, I feel like that um, Someone's either took something or they're about to take something from someone. And I mean take something. Um, see, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, it's inside of a room. I can't see the whole room, but I'm seeing books. Um, and I, I don't know what's been taken, but there's books. It's almost like there's books laying down and then there may be books that's like on a shelf, but I don't know if it's an actual shelf. 
um, but someone has taken something or they're about to take something. Um, whoever this is, there's been talk about whatever it is that they're taking. So if this has been a, if this is a book or something of that nature, you and that person have maybe talked about that book or whatever this item is, not saying that they telling you they want it or anything like that, but whoever this is, if you think about it, if this happens to you or if it's already happened, if you think about it, you can figure out who, who has taken this. Um, it's someone that you wouldn't expect to do it. It's that type of feeling. Let's see if we can get anything else on that. Someone that... They may take you somewhere or you take them somewhere. Um, this is someone that they kind of, I'm, I'm, I hate to say it, <laughs> they kind of see you as a um, pushover. Someone who's nurturing, mothering, caring, fathering, someone who would give their shirt off their back. And this person sees you in that light. So it, it felt very easy for them to just take whatever it is that they've taken. Um, and it doesn't bother them. Um, that's the thing. Now, this, whatever it is, it's going to bother you. And it, and it doesn't even have to be something. It's not that I'm even saying it's anything big. It doesn't have to be. But this it's something about just the audacity just the you know the thought of it a vacation I could use one of them myself oh yeah oh yeah I could use a vacation myself I haven't been on a vacation in quite a while <laughs> Let's see. Yep, they threw one out. Let me see what it is. Okay. They threw it out again. Oh my goodness. They trying to make this point get across to someone. Queen of Swords. You know. Okay. If someone is going through some sort of um, court-related something or another, keep keep your ground, stand your ground, keep your keep your vibe up. Um, oh, I know. Yeah. Um, it feels like that. You know, things can go in your favor, but you're gonna have to hold. You're gonna have to hold your. You're gonna have to hold your your tongue. Um, and not be because I feel like with the Queen of Swords someone could just lash out and that's not the thing to do it doesn't feel like that's the thing to do but this can very well go in your favor uh, but don't lash out hello yeah we've we've got the Queen of Swords popping out it's, it's the second time and it feels like it's for different people that's, that's what's funny about it could be for all of you. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. Okay. See, we keep having the hangman showing up. Okay. Somebody's guarding their heart. Um, or are they closing it off? Um, man, this is this is really okay. Okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, who's guarding their heart? And you got somebody wanting in, but <laughs> you, 
you but you may not even realize it because you're so in, on guard um there's so much thought so much thought so much um god there's a lot going on it's like there's a lot going on um got yourself going doing for you beautifully beautifully okay that's you know a while ago um well just now whenever that queen of swords flew out libra the word libra come in my and i started to ask to anyone how was anyone a libra um i feel like somebody's got someone that they want to offer something to them it's some form of emotion now i can't say love because i'm not feeling that um but it, it could be quite a bit of emotion and it could be someone's dream come true but the thing is is whoever i'm talking to is kind of like right now doing you're doing you doing you you know and you just but the thing is and that's a good thing doing yourself you know got yourself going you're doing you you don't need anyone but it the, the problem with this is right here you see that i'm complete guard so if you've got the walls up too high around your heart you're not gonna let that person in so i don't i don't know who that's for that's for somebody though um okay so you're a leo son see i try to tell everyone um just because a reading is labeled like say even my even the aquarius readings just because it's labeled aquarius that does i'm telling you people if you see a name and you're drawn to it re, watch the reading because you're probably going to take something away I, I don't go by the if i watch one i go by what i feel when i see the actual uh, name or um even if a video comes across my youtube and i'm i see that person if i'm drawn to it and i may just be drawn to the cards they've got in their hand well keep strong keep strong keep moving forward um but if you're the you know if you're the one that's guarding your heart now don't don't guard it so so oh my god guard it but not oh see it's hard to say this because i feel like that whoever i'm talking to you've got more than one person that's and some are not for your higher good and then you've got there's one that's really got some emotion of some sort um so yeah it's kind of you know you gotta w watch but at the same time there's a policeman going over there at the same time let it down but you know keep it up a little bit i guess um watch yourself follow your intuition you got somebody they they've got a motion to give you coming in as the um king of cups could be a water sign could be a scan a cancer scorpio or a pisces um now i'm seeing the king of pentacles so this person could have taurus virgo or capricorn um in their chart they could have water in their chart or maybe you do but they've got emotion they've got some emotion but the, the problem is there there's the problem you see the moon card because i feel like whoever i'm talking to you got more than one looking at you yeah it's a collective reading um uh, just for whoever feels like a message i've been doing little messages this whole whole time so you may have to go back i've just been pulling cards and giving what what i feel from them uh so yeah it's collective um but this feels like the illusion is there because it's it's hard to know what's real and what's not and so i'm seeing yes the high priestess follow your intuition and you know <sighs> yeah because it's whoever i'm talking to you got more than one watching me uh, it could be online um see and what i'm getting with this is not just that you could have someone new romantically but for some of you it may not be romantically it could actually be a friend or someone that um 
they'll be with you, but maybe, you know, not romantically. And then for some, this is a choice between two. You see what I'm saying? That's where the illusion comes in. And I feel like that may be throwing someone off as well. And see, there's the fear. Because it's done happen. I mean, you done went through this crap. And you don't want to go through it again. And so it's a big fear. Okay, a Taurus. Well, everybody, I'm going to have to get off of here. There's my daughter. Um, but I will be doing some more readings um, for the other signs. And um, I'm not sure exactly when, but I do feel them. And so I do feel like they'll be um, probably for every sign. I, I know I feel Libra and I feel Leo and Aquarius, of course. Um, okay, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, and Pisces. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and um, truly do. And God bless y'all. Till next time. You're very welcome. Let's see. Figure out how to. Eh.